listen, this guy isn't Randy Grimes, but oddly, Bob Marjanovich looks a little like Randy Grimes. Come How on, you doing, Mo? That's a hey, <laughs> 10 season center for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, dude. That's a compliment. Thank you. Thank you. The voice of the BC Lions. How you doing, brother? Tell you what, it's Thursday. Um, we got over hump day yesterday. We've been here since Monday. And today and tomorrow are going to be the busiest days. So come Friday, it's going to be it's going to be nice to get out of here. I got to be honest, Moj, you look like Fred Flintstone when he had the toothpicks in his eyes. <laughs> Remember that episode? This is a hard week, man. It's a very hard week. I mean, you know, we're here at nine o'clock, and we probably don't leave to five, and then it's dinner, and then you know we go out and entertain ourselves, and you know the next thing you know it's like midnight, and then boom, seven thirty, you're back up. So it's it's a grind, but it's fun. It is. I mean, it's twenty third time, so. I mean, I must enjoy it. Wow, twenty right? third Super Bowl. I love it. Uh, number two for me, but first on radio. Rowan, you were the guy that said you got to get down here. I know. And I, I told appreciate you that. that. Last year. <laughs> yeah, you come down here. This is where all the action is. And this is it. I see uh, you got the bling on. Can you put that up in front of the camera? What is that? Uh, twenty. That's UBC. Oh, I thought it was the Lions. Uh, that's a. The Vandy T-Birds, Cup eh? Champion. Yeah, Moj is, well, you're a football guy. Yeah. Right? So what do you love about this week the most? Um, for me personally, and I know even for Mike Whitting, I'm our producer, um, it's just being able to see faces. People that we've, you know, seen over the years, known over the years, guests over the years. That's the real cool thing about this week is that you get to, you know, shake a hand. I mean, say Ross Tucker, who's a regular back in the 1040 days. Um, and don't get me going on what's happening on with Bell today. That's another story. Um, but Ross Tucker's a guy that we had on all the time. And, you know, you get to see Ross face to face. He's right? good. Oh, he's, he's really good. Um, so, you know, last night I bumped into Chris Berman. And Chris has been a long time friend. He came up to Vancouver for the Lions Orange Helmet Award one year. That. And we always see him at the Super Bowl. So, hotel lobby, just bump into Chris Berman, right? So, it, that's the cool thing. I mean, Lorenzo Neal's another guy that's been to Vancouver, the former NFL fullback. He was one of our regulars and, you know, bumping in a low. So, to me, that's the real cool part about this. It's it's like a convention almost uh, for all the, the broadcasters. I'll be honest, your name came up this week with you interviewing Travis Kelsey. Just tell me what happened well, Monday I, night. You know, the, the one thing that we like doing is we always kind of find some sort of Canadian or CFL connection, right? I mean, we talked to Tim Terry for a bit, the, the Chiefs director of player personnel who won a great cup with the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Johnny Holland, uh, coach with the Lions for two years, the linebackers, we did a little bit with Johnny. <laughs> So Kelsey was there, and I go, yeah, I asked Kelsey that Caleros question about the power and all that. And I didn't ask him about that. I said, do you have a good Zach Caleros story that you can tell us? I was thinking the other way around, right? And he just started talking about that question, right? So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, we had Dre Greenlaw and Brandon Allen of the, the 49ers talking about playing with Keon Hatcher at Arkansas, right? So there's always one. The one thing you'll find out about football if you dig it, you know, if you dig a little, there's always one degree of separation. Yeah. Right? These guys, they all kind of know each other one way through another. So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun down here. Well, it's funny you say that because you see Kurt Warner roaming around here this morning and everybody remembers his famous Iowa Barnstormer story and playing for John Gregory. Like, football itself is a very. Do you remember Rob Blasio? I think I played. He was Rob Warner, Lazio. Lazio. He was the yeah. local. He's an Iowa Vancouver. guy. Yeah. He was teammates with Warner. Oh, yeah, he's Mark great Storm stories. Yeah. yeah, Rob's. I mean, again, there you go, that one degree of separation, right? Rob and his wife, Mindy, wonderful people. Yeah, 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 yeah. know them very well. Um, so the Grey Cup is in Vancouver next year. You guys are hosting. Is it going to be bigger and better than ever? Because you had some good ones. Oh, yeah. If you know Amar Doman, it's going to be bigger and better than ever, right? So that's one thing Amar loves doing. He loves putting on a show. He loves entertaining the fans. He loves just... He just wants people to not only have a great time watching the game, but have a great time at the event. And that's something that he's told us on numerous occasions. So this is going to be a great event. Uh, Arlen Bruce writing in, watching the program, 902-518-3033. AB says, great morning, RP. Chiefs by eight in the Super Bowl. Uh, RP, if you see some GMs, let them know about my son, Arlen Bruce the fourth. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Enjoy. You deserve it. Thanks, AB. I appreciate you. Well, there's a, there's a lot to digest there. Hey, Antonio Pierce was walking around here. Come yesterday. on. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what happens. Let's talk about the NFL. So our producer, Nick Kowalski, or one of our content guys, Nick Kowalski, um, who is the videographer. He's of the Lions, Lions, yeah. Yeah, does an amazing job. So I talked to say, can I grab you for a little walk and talk? And as Antonio Pierce is walking out of the building, four questions with AP, four or five questions. And we get an email from the NFL, like, I don't know, four or five hours later. 
this the credential, badge. which I should actually flip. Sorry. Um, this credential was exposed, and they said either you have to uh, blur the cl credential out or take the clip off. So we had to take the clip off because it was a video, right? So they're pretty strict about that stuff. So I, have to be I was thinking about there. this that this morning because the security here is unreal. The NFL is the kings of the kings of the kings of the yeah. sports world, but with that comes the kings of the threats and the problems and the things yeah. that the other leagues don't have to yeah, deal with. They don't. They don't mess around here. So yeah, you got to be very careful when they say when they say jump, you say how high. And I have been, and thank you for having me. Thanks for asking me to jump. <laughs> um, the game itself, 49ers favored by two. For the world of me, I can't figure out why. Uh, your thoughts uh, on the game? I, I just think, you know, people look at the 49ers on paper, and they just think that the 49ers will win this game. But here's the thing that I love about this week. You, we start Monday, and everyone we talk to, you just keep accumulating information. And, and it's funny, I, I think if I had to summarize this, Rod, Everyone you talk to, it's basically the 49ers are the better team, but Patrick Mahomes. Sure. Right? And that's that's the equalizer. And if you ask me, who are you going to take as a quarterback in a big game? Patrick Mahomes or Brock Purdy? We had Brian Baldinger on from the NFL Network, and he says, and, and other people have agreed with this, if the 49ers are to win, Purdy's going to have to make five money throws. Right? Can he do it? Jury's out on that. We'll find out on Sunday. So you're, you're saying the better team is picked, is favored. That's why. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, are you going to bet against Patrick Mahomes? I'm not. I, no. did, I did against the Baltimore Ravens, and look how that worked out. A lot of people did. Yeah. yeah, you're not alone on that one. I know we got uh, Moj for about three more minutes. He's got Joshua uh, Turner coming. Palmer. Joshua Palmer. Chargers receiver. Uh, Tennessee uh, product and Canadian yeah. receiver. Yes, exactly. Um, what else was I going to ask you? Oh, this is how good a guy he is. Two years ago in L.A., uh, you invited me, took me along to that Super Bowl party, Dick and Jaws. I ducked out early. It was getting kind of wild. They get wild, huh? Well, I don't do wild not, anymore. It's not bad. It's all right. It's, Are they doing it again? Wild. Yeah, we're going to it tonight, actually. Tell me how it is. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's a good night, and again, a lot of people that we know in the industry, people that you bump into, and all the cigars you want to smoke. So. Right, and Although booze. I'm a little spoiled. I'm from, from Canada, right? So, I mean... I partake in Cubans quite a bit, right? And down here, there's no Cubans, so. <laughs> a Seinfeld episode just popped into my mind. <laughs> you know the one. But I was like, $500 for all the cigars and booze, I mean, that's a waste on me. I, I can see the people here. I don't need to pay 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. But so you've been, you, you rebel the parties a little bit too? You know what? To be honest, not as much as I've gotten older. Like when I was younger, I mean, it was a big thing. I mean, especially like, you know, your first few Super Bowls in your 30s, like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. Then once you've been there and seen it and done it, you're like, okay, I'm good. Right. I'm like that old bull now. Right? Yeah, the when I was old young. bull and young bull. <laughs> exactly. I know when this, sir. I'm a young, farm boy. I was the young bull in the first few Super Bowls. I'm running down that hill. Now I'm just that old bull just sitting there kind of watching. What did you say, 23 of them? Yeah, this is the 23rd. So the early ones. What was the your first? The first one was Ravens Giants in Tampa. That's the a good one. Trent Dilfer Super Bowl. Then the next one was the Brady beating the Rams Super Bowl. I was thinking the Brian Billick Super Bowl, where we all thought he was a genius coming no. out of it. Which he, maybe he was. He won a Super Bowl uh, with Trent Dilfer. I know there's one in San Diego. I don't know if that was the second or the third. That was the, the Buccaneers and the Raiders. Okay. So those were the first three. I can't remember the order. Although I do know that the Tampa one was the first. So Yeah, Billick's floating around here today. Is he? Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? Just going to love you. If I see my guy, Bobby Broderick. See that guy over there? I'm going to send Bobby Broderick over to you. He handles Billick, and hopefully you can get him on the I show. I appreciate you. Hey, I, I know you got to go. Yeah, so Josh Palmer. Both, you're the best. Take appreciate care, buddy. you, man. All the best.